Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to start lesson 14. Analysis of Chichibok's Pro Supports Editing Function, Episode 5. In the last episode, we talked about the supports parameter settings and some notices. Today we will explain in detail how to add, delete and edit supports in Chichibok's Pro and their shortcut keys. Number 1, Adding, Deleting and Editing Supports. Adding supports literally means adding different types of supports to the model. There are two ways. One is adding supports automatically, such as plus platform, plus all options. The other is to add supports manually, select plus function and add supports one by one. Using the auto supporting function, you can add supports to the model with one click, which can effectively help us improve work efficiency. Plus platform, automatically add supports based on platform only. Click it, the system will add supports to the model automatically according to the setting parameters. Plus all, click it, automatically add supports based on platform and model. The system will add supports to the model automatically according to the setting parameters, including the hollowing parts or other overhang areas of the model. The difference between these two options. Plus platform is to add supports based on the printing platform only. While plus all is to add supports based on the model plus the basis of plus platform at the same time. This includes the hollowing parts of the model and parts that are partially suspended from the model. Plus, the shortcut key for adding supports manually is A. Select the type of supports you need and click plus to manually add supports to the model. And we can switch between different types of supports at any time at will. When adding or deleting or editing the supports, you can press A to quickly switch. Delete supports literally means delete the supports on the model. There are two ways. One is to delete manually, superb customization. The other is to delete all supports automatically, with one click, which is convenient and simple when you need to delete it all. Minus, you can delete one single support or multiple supports by using this option. Click minus, move the mouse to select the supports that need to be deleted, then the selected supports will be marked in red, and then click minus or use the Dell key to delete it. D is the shortcut key to delete supports. Use it to quickly switch to the delete state. Also, you can delete supports after selecting it. Remove all, delete all the added supports at once. Click the remove all button, a pop-up window will show. Select yes if you want to delete all the supports for sure, or select cancel if you change your mind. Or click on the exit. Editing the supports means parameter settings and adjustment of the top, middle, bottom and raft of the supports. Click the edit support button or use the shortcut key E to enter the supports editing state. The system will hide the supports type panel in this state. Move the mouse and click on the supports that need to be edited. The selected supports will be marked in green. When we modify the corresponding parameter values in the visualization window, or in the supports parameter setting panel, which is on the right part of the window, we can see the supports changing in real time. When editing the supports, selects any part of the supports, the right side of the support setting panel will jump to the corresponding part. For example, when we select the middle part of the supports, the support setting panel bar will automatically jump to the middle parameter option. Similarly, when we edit the raft, the raft will also be changed when the parameters are modified. Number 2, Shortcut Keys for Supports Editing Except for the shortcut keys A, D, E, Tab, etc., there is a special function bar for supports editing, which is on the left side of the working window. It provides five different kinds of selection, line, brush, rectangle, polygon, and freeform, which enables fast selection of multiple supports or areas, and can effectively improve our work efficiency when editing supports. Line, the supports that passes through both ends of the line will be selected. First, click the line option, move the mouse to the area that you want to mark, click, move the mouse again, and then double click. Then it's done. Brush, the area that is brushed on will be selected. If you want to adjust the size of the brush, you can use Ctrl plus middle mouse button scrolling. For example, if you want to delete the supports, First, select the minus option and then click brush. Move the mouse to the area that you want to mark, click and hold the left mouse button, and then drag the mouse to slide over, and then release the left mouse button to the part of the supports you want. Rectangle, select an area with a rectangle shape, we can quickly add, delete or edit the supports. For example, if you want to add supports. First, select the plus option and then click rectangle. Move the mouse to the area that you want to mark, click and hold the left mouse button, and then drag the mouse to select the specified rectangle area, double click it. Then click plus platform or plus all to finish the supports adding process. Polygon, customized to select a region with any polygon shape, you can edit the supports in the selected area. 
First, select the Supports Operation function, and then click Polygon. Select the starting point and click, and then move the mouse to the area that you want to mark, then click it again. You can continuously click to draw polygons, and finally just double-click to confirm the required supports. Freeform, you can customize the drawing graphics to select the required supports area for operations. Select the Supports Operation function, and then click the Freeform. Select the starting point and click, and then move the mouse to the area that you want to mark, until the graphics cover the supports you need, and double-click it. In addition, in the Edit Support state, you can use Ctrl plus left mouse button to select multiple supports. Compared to the left side toolbar, it allows you to select supports more freely which means you don't have to select the required supports at once, 100% at your will. Chichubox Pro provides many shortcut keys and tools for us to learn and use. And to enjoy the fun of 3D printing. Okay. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Chichubox Pro runs on Mac and PC, and we are still updating new functions. Waiting for our next section of the tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next time.